This video shows how to connect USB drive, USB printers and USB hubs to the USB port of the Arcadian version of the smart modem. It then shows how to set up a Windows PC so that it can access the USB devices over the network. I have connected two USB flash drives, a portable hard disk and a USB printer using a four port powered USB hub connected to the USB 3 port located on the back of the Arcadian modem. To set up the modem, log into the modem by opening a web browser on a device connected to the modem and going to http colon forward slash forward slash my modem. Password is Telstra double T and then going to content share. There are two ways of accessing the files stored on USB drive attached to the modem. DLNA, which is used by media devices, and Samba, which is used for accessing the devices as network drives. In order to access the USB drives using DLNA, make sure enable DLNA is ticked. The DLNA name is the name the server will appear as in your media devices. To access the files using DLNA, start a media device. I will use VLC Media Player. Go to Servers. Select the server with the same name displayed in the modem settings. The media on the USB drives is grouped into folders and content. I will use folders to browse the files. The file can then be selected and played. To use Samba, make sure Samba enabled is ticked. The default name of the server is Telstra-Modem. This can be changed. You can also change the workgroup name if you already have another workgroup set up on your network. By default, the modem uses Samba version 1. To use Samba version 2, toggle the Samba version 2 switch to on. With Samba version 2 enabled, shares can only be accessed using a username and password. Enter a username and password and then save the settings. To access the files on a PC, open File Explorer and go to Network. If you get this message, select OK to remove the warning message. Click on the network icon, bottom right of the screen. Select the network that is being used. Then select the connected network. And make sure private is selected. Select the back arrow top right. Select status and then select network and sharing center. Select advanced sharing settings. Make sure turn on network discovery and file and printer sharing are selected. Go back to file explorer and refresh the window by right clicking and selecting refresh. The Telstra-Modem server should now appear in the computer section of File Explorer. Select the server. The ID name of the user set up in the modem setting should now be displayed. Select it. Enter your username and password as set up in the modem settings and select OK. Due to a bug in the modem's firmware, only the first USB drive connected to the USB hub will be accessible. Files can be copied from the PC to the USB drive. The transfer rate is only a slow 9 megabytes per second. Files can be copied from the USB drive to the computer. The transfer rate is only slightly faster at about 10 megabytes per second. People often complain that they don't know the password for access to the files. To make the username and password accessible for editing, toggle the Samba version 2 switch off and then back on again. The next section of the video demonstrates Samba version 1. By default, Windows turns Samba version 1 off. To enable Samba version 1, click on Start and start typing Turn Windows Features On or Off. When Turn Windows Features On or Off appears, select it.
scroll down to SMB 1.0 and expand it. Place a tick next to SMB 1.0 CIFS automatic removal and SMB 1 CIFS client and select OK. After Windows has installed the required feature, you will be required to reboot the machine. Once PC is rebooted, open File Explorer and go to Network, then select the modem server. The drives connected to the USB port on the modem will be displayed. Select a drive to display the folders and files stored on the drive. Files can be copied to the drive. Upload speed is the same as when Samba version 2 was used. Files can be copied from the drive. Download speed is also the same as when Samba version 2 was used. To safely remove a drive from the USB port on the modem, eject it first using the modem's graphic user interface. Wait for the modem to eject the drive, then remove the drive and insert a new drive. Once the new drive has been inserted, refresh the browser and if the new drive is recognised by the modem, it will be listed in the list of connected devices. The last part of the video shows how to configure a PC to connect to a printer connected to the USB 3 port of the modem. The printer that I intended to use doesn't have a Windows 10 driver, so I have replaced it with a printer that has a USB port but also ports network connection. I've disconnected it from the network. First check that the printer has been recognised by the modem. If recognised, it will be listed in the list of connected devices. Copy the Samba name to the clipboard, click on Start and select Settings. Select Devices, select Printers and Scanners, select Add Printer. When the printer I have isn't listed appears, select it. Select a printer using TCP IP address or host name and select Next. Paste the Samba name copied previously into the host or IP address box and select Next. The detection process takes a while, so I speed it up. Select Custom, select Settings, select LPR as the protocol, give the LPR queue a name, and select OK. Select Next. The driver for the printer is already installed, so I'll select it from the list of already installed printers. Select Use Driver that is already installed, and select Next. Give the printer a name and select next. Next stage takes a while so I'll speed it up. Choose whether to share the printer and select next. To test the printer, select print a test page. If successful, the printer will print the printer's test page. My printer took a while to print because the ink level was low and I had to cancel the warning message. Not all USB drives and printers are compatible with the modem. Some USB devices, when plugged into the modem, cause the modem's graphic user interface to be inaccessible. For example, when I plug in this USB device, the list of connected USB devices is cleared and the modem settings are no longer accessible. 